switching networks and uh, let's see this one works it doesn't it doesn't uh, gotta try to understand why um, let's see where we go Alright, there we go. Some guys are on, so yeah, there we go. It's starting to come on quickly. Um, want to see your comments to know we are on. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're having a bit of an issue there getting on, but we're on now. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Tasha Vuka Vukajlovi Vukajlovi. World is my third time lucky. Yep, must do three times. The troop. Uh, what word is that? The triumvirate. How's it, uh, KC? Uh, good evening, Roger from the UK uh, joining us. And uh, right, let me get my stuff in order here yeah? and uh, start the show. Um, I was actually uh, Vishal Rampasad, yeah, uh, something you brought to my attention. I'm gonna spend some time on that. Uh, Krishni Naidu, good evening. Right, roll up, everybody. Good evening, good evening, and uh, welcome. Try and do this and see if it still works. Uh, right. Good evening, how's it? How's it, Anita? I was checking Anita just now. And uh, apple juice, apple juice. Uh, I know someone's gonna ask. Right, we got about another minute to go while you uh, get ready. Mabel Philip Krupanan, then good evening, Mabel Philip. How did you get to be Mabel Philip Kruppenlanden? Were you a Philip and then you married a Kruppenlanden? What's the story there? Nicholas says, poor shot. No, it's Monday today. Do it fasting day today. I had a lack of mutton curry. Uh, tyrant governor says, I made my own bunny chow with three slides bread. I pressed the insides in and I put the lack of curry over it there and I had a homemade bunny. I haven't had a bunny for a long time. I can't eat the old big bunny anymore. So, uh, that was fine. Uh, I'm going to read this here. and something there so uh, I'm here under duress and there isn't any audio or visuals you think I'm under duress got some vodka in the rapport just tell the truth no no I don't think vodka Tasha Tash how's it Margaret from Staden how's it Mar Margaret from Staden uh, how's it Margaret sorry I'm looking like a, looks like a cider no it's apple juice you want to taste it's fucking apple juice who would drink cider in a glass I wouldn't drink cider in a glass I was your bunny, my bunny was good. Uh, three slices bread, bunny. And yeah, that's all. So then I, I'm not staying away from too much of bread. So that worked for me there. Uh, those mothers give me veg today. <laughs> yeah, veg. It's a Monday. Cleanse your soul. Cleanse your soul. Good evening, Calvin Wesley Pulley joining us. If you fast on a Monday for no other reason, give your body a break from the meat just to have veg. That's what fasting is also about. That's what our forefathers knew. That was written in the Vedas. Why we should eat veg. Cleanse your body. If nothing else for discipline. I had a lack of mutton bunny, but I had a potato curry. Day. But I love veg. If the floor makes veg, I eat veg. I love veg. I will take veg over meat. Most of the time. Words can only see comments. Critic, I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's what you said about the gym. <laughs> I'd love a luck of bunny right now, says Danny Burmo. Uh, no turning of salt. Hey, I've got so much of things I want to discuss today. Let me see where we can go, what we can discuss here. What visuals you want? I don't know what visuals Kritika wants. Pole dancing. Uh, Samira, good evening, good evening. Uh, try going in and out. After six, mother point. Yeah, yeah, after six, you can fuck it on. And then in Chennai, it's only nine o'clock. Monday today, did you have a doll bunny? No Google, I didn't have a doll bunny. I didn't have, I had a potato bunny. I had a potato. There was a big potato in that bunny. Big potato. Potato bunny. Yes, I had. Uh, masala tea detox is Ben Pole. I had a big potato. Um, okay, there was a bit of lamb with it, some gravy and some pieces of meat. If you want to be pedantic about it, and, I, and you have to ask those questions, there was. Karen Lutkin says hi from London. Okay, be more specific, East London or which London? Because the people say they're from the UK and come from Hong Kumas. 
So be more specific there, Karen. Ledkin. Uh, feeling hot. Yeah, I'm feeling hot today, dude. Um, I had to change into a... It's getting warmer. And the room where I'm in upstairs in the loft here is... Uh, Tyler's room is, is gets warm. Uh, okay, now I've got something. But I think I got something, which is a good thing. Because Kritika is looking for something for a long time. So she's got something. Uh, let's start there. Right. Uh, Karen says... Uh, what? Something she said. NW. Uh, potato. Yeah. Roseman says, where was the fire video you put up? Was it those lovely old buildings in Durban? Yep, Durban was uh, the mosque building, but it wasn't the mosque that burned. I was in the same building, though. Beans, money, with mutton gravy. <laughs> Tasha, that person is here watching. Uh, potato bunny garnished with mutton. Yep, that was what it was. Potato bunny garnished with mutton. That's how you put it. Uh, Northwest London. Right, welcome, Karen. I forgot your name right. Karen Saron. I think it's Karen. What brings you to this program to watch somebody be fucked like me talk shit? Because even my own child brothers don't watch me. They reckon something fucking wrong with me. Uh, why are you watching? Hello, Jaco Pretorius. Uh, I found you something, Kritika. Uh, Vishal Martin was in the potatoes. Well, it was a, it was a nice warm day in Joburg. Colin Mudley. Right. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to me, KC Live. It's what you do every uh, weeknight, 8 o'clock. Yes, yes. So you left the meat one side the potato like my kids did when they were fasting that's correct well i couldn't waste the meat don't be stupid now yash i couldn't wear ash i couldn't waste the meat how's your potatoes uh, potatoes were lucky to the soft cooking busting potatoes um i'm in london and i have a broken foot what did you do with your foot karen you broke your foot i have a bunny from marani on saturday yep uh well sunshine gang can have bar uh bunnies on sunday how are you doing this Adrian? I'm good. Right, let's start the show. We've got one hour to go. Lots of things to discuss. Uh, I'm doing well. Right. As the Shamini, good evening. As the show goes on, we stick to the topic that we're discussing. We don't talk other bullshit in between. First up, let's do the COVID updates. Uh, day number uh, 150, according to my statistician, Anida. We are day number 150 of lockdown uh, in terms of the Disaster Management Act. We're in a state of disaster. Uh, 150 days uh, we into lockdown. 24th of August is the date. Uh, we have passed 600,000 COVID or positive cases. And we, according to the health department, have passed the peak. We've passed our peak, but we can expect disaster in November. That's according to government uh, figures. Yeah. So uh, we passed our peak, but... Disaster is coming in October, November. That's our government. Well, remember all these figures about passing the peak and all of that is only because we are in level two now. Uh, um, Karen says, I fell off the wall whilst I was looking at the full moon. Full moon, you must, full moon, people do stupid things. Karen, listen to Hindu scripture, full moon, uh, Amavasa time. Things happen in the full moon. If you listen to me and listen to my program and the child will teach you about Hindu culture and we teach you how to respect the full moon. It's not a laughing matter. You fell and broke your leg. Umpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. Uh, melting burritos. I was at Casey from China. Oh, you've got China in the house. Samir Afuji joins us from China. Where about in China? Uh, Google says past the 13,000 death mark. Is that also a uh, thing? SARS to investigate 139 companies for possible tax evasion. I wonder when SARS is going to investigate the fucking politicians uh, for lifestyle audits. That'll be interesting, but obviously they're staying away from that. Uh, 139 companies of possible tax evasion. Now, even that point there on the tax evasion, I spent five minutes there on the tax evasion. Uh, SARS to investigate 139 companies for possible tax evasion. Now, I know why they're going after, uh, take your COVID back, please. I know why there is such an interest in tax evasion, because we are looking for money. The government is looking for money. Um, right, we're discussing tax evasion now, guys. Stick on the, on what we're talking about here. Uh, SARS to investigate 139 companies for tax evasion. I was at Dubai in the house, Neil Basson. And uh, what's your take on that? Tax evasion from companies, of course, because you can recover money from these guys. That's what the government is looking for, money. Uh, when is a lifestyle audit on the politicians and uh, councillors going to come into play? When is that 
uh, Mr. Saz, eh? When is that coming into play? Fuck all. I mean, if we did a lifestyle audit on these guys, straight away we would find out you can't be living the life you are living, driving the cars you're driving, living the homes you are living in on your salary as a member of parliament. Come on. But we are the cunts here and uh, we'll go from there. I really want to get into two very big points to discuss today. Um, right, we'll talk about that. Right, but firstly, I want to I wanna just, uh, while you comment on that, on that, I want to first allude to or talk about uh, what we discussed last week about uh, Cooley uh, and the power of one and... Uh, Fucking sounds always ordered me, not fair, said Danny. All I had was China, 500 bucks. To be honest, what will happen when pigs fly? Yup. Calvin is back. It's easy money to recover. Uh, that's right. Uh, Ricky Naidu making a good point. The other the point. Easy money to recover. Soft targets. Uh, yep, that's right. So therein lies, I mean, look at that. Someone will think that SARS is doing a great job. Uh, going after this money is and all the tax evasion. Tax evasion is a crime. If you avoid paying your taxes, you're a criminal. You should be put behind bars. There are billions that are being hidden from government in taxes. I mean, the financial sector is about time our economy is escalated, however. Uh, Nevin says there are billions being hidden from government in taxes. Yep. So you're saying go after, so Nevin is saying go after the guys. Tax evasion. I'm saying that tax evasion is now a big thing because you're fucking looking for money. It also scrutinizing that claims as well. Penalty without explanation. Pay now, query later. Tax evasion. How's it KC poor shot? Uh, only 5 million tax. There are only 5 million taxpayers in SA out of 58 million. How much more you want to fuck us? That's correct, Vishal Singh. Uh, I don't know if the figures are right about the 5 million taxpayers, but definitely we, the taxpayer, and I am a fucking taxpayer, by the way. Uh, stealing from the poor is not a crime, says Tasha. That's right. Uh, when is SARS? We're not hearing about the lifestyle audit. Have you heard of tax collections from the taxi industry? Uh, nope. But I suppose that is happening uh, for sure. Colin has to hide it because government will just steal that money. Well, why can't everybody steal money? Who pays all your... Which one of y'all pays all your money to the tax man? Are you fucking... something wrong with y'all. The tax man knows you're going to keep some money for yourself. You can't take all the money and give the tax man. But anyway, let me end this by saying that I, my personal opinion is that investigating 139 companies for possible tax evasion is just trying to get money out of these guys. Uh, let's end it with there should be a lifestyle audit on the fucking politicians and then you'll see where the fucking money is. Why can't we go after the double standards? But we're in a country of uh, double standards where we get fucked. The taxpayer gets fucked. 59 million people. How many people are taxpayers? Who knows the numbers? How many people are taxpaying citizens in this country? And we the ones get fucked. The business owners get fucked. Uh, it's not the average earner that government is after. It's the elite up 5 million per annum that are found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, Nevin. I don't, I don't have a problem with the elite up 5 million. But the fact of the matter is, that's not what we're discussing, Nevin Naraidu. I didn't discuss. Uh, Nevin Naraidu is saying who they're going after, the upper 5 million bracket earners. That's not the point. The point is, if you can invest those people and those companies who also have been contributing and paying taxes, it's not that the Knox paying taxes. So let me let's say, these companies were they going after tax evasion. You mean they haven't been paying taxes? You mean they haven't been contributing to the economy? You mean they haven't? What's their crime against stealing from the public? So let's ask that question. May never Naraidu and I get on with a nice big debate. So never Naraidu is trying to quantify and qualify the SARS by saying they're going after these guys. The argument I want to have is why aren't we doing a lifestyle? Let's stick to that. I'm not worried about, yes, there are tax evaders. People, um, Let's talk about that. Uh, fuck the tax evaders. Recover the money that, uh, in. that's right. See, that is, that's what I was talking about. Fuck the, exactly. Why is Nevin Naraido on on that tangent? I don't understand, Nevin. Uh, well, that's the argument. The argument is, not if you're a teacher uh, on point, bro. The argument is, go after this the people are fucking stealing the money. Even even you and I, if I'm paying three quarters of my taxes, at least I'm fucking paying my fucking taxes. At least I'm paying my taxes. If I'm running a business here and not declaring all my money, well and good. 
I'm employing people. I'm keeping people off the street. I'm putting uh, food on the table. We're supporting the taxi industry. We're supporting the bread industry, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. We are still driving the economy. Those businesses there who are tax evaders are also contributing to keeping people off the streets. They're also contributing to keeping the unemployment level down. They're also contributing to driving the economy. They are the fucking rogues, yeah? They're not fucking robbing this country. Tax evaders are robbing this country. Fuck off. There are bigger fucking terminals in this country. Let me tell you that much. Don't come with this fucking bullshit story. Tax evaders. The money is still being spent in this country. Maybe most of it. I don't deny some is going offshore or whatever. But if it's a business running, it's a business that's supporting this economy. Yeah, maybe they're not paying the taxes. Everybody has to be smart. If the government can fucking steal, why can't you and I steal? When you and I steal, it's a fucking crime. When they steal, it's a maladministration, uh, judgment errors, uh, mistakes they made. Uh, you can't make a mistake with your taxes. No. No, 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 no. You didn't declare. You're a fucking criminal. We need to come after you. Put you in jail. What are they going to do with those people? Shut their companies down. Why don't they close the companies? Put that all in jail. They didn't be so. I only said they come for me, put my handcuffs and fucking take me away. Don't come with this bullshit fucking story here. Tax, tax evaders. They are fucking paying the taxes. At least, at least they contribute to the economy. What is the government? What are these fucking politicians contributing to this country? Fuck all. Fuck all. They're fucking raping this country. Uh, anyway, that's my say there. I want to get that off my chest. There's a couple of bad things I want to get off my chest. Um, bro, if the 5 million per annum taxpayers pay tax, there's a lot of taxpayers, government officials don't declare fuck all. Yep, that's right, says Calvin Wesley Pillay. Uh, government officials, who's fucking doing their taxes for those cunts? How are they? My, as soon as I fucking get one, uh, uh, lifestyle, and even says lifestyle are definitely needed. Uh, needed. Let me, let me see what his point is. The government's stealing is nothing compared to monopoly capitalism. Leave yeah, 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 Nevin, we know that. We know about the monopoly capital, but the point, Nevin, we come again is, why are you going, why is there no lifestyle? Let's do the lifestyle audit first. Let's, let's look at our, let's look at inside. That's the point. I don't deny money is leaving the country, all of that. But they also, the point I'm making is these companies are contributing to the economy. Uh, when it's government stealing, it's a magic show, yeah. Lock them up on point, says Kitty. Right, that's government story. Other south, right? I've checked with all the breaking the say, Fuck you. It's like when the O's. Yep, that's right. Vishal is correct. Uh, you is saying well said. Right, I just want to touch on this topic here quickly first. Um, last week, I started off the discussion about the power of one and uh, the, the word coolie. And we got some uh, other overseas guests with us here as well. The word coolie. I place that so the next topic of discussion guys only comment on this now for the next five minutes that's what we we're turning our discussion to uh, the word coolie coolie for those people who don't know um, for those people who don't know trust in government is paramount if we can trust our government spend uh, will be trust in government is paramount if we can trust our government spend then yes trust in government must be earned trust is that can't be demanded it needs to be earned right we're talking about the word coolie and I posted on my Facebook platforms about the word coolie, what their thoughts were. I think I got about a 70, 80, 70, 80% Indian, uh, and in attitude Indians, uh, come back that the word doesn't affect them, maybe 60%. And there was about 30, 40% of people who felt offended by it. It's a derogatory word and it was meant to oppress whatever. So I'm going to give you my version on it. I think I've said it before. I'm going to say it again now. I'm going to launch this initiative. I am going to be saying I am proud to be a coolie. Uh, proudly coolie hashtag proudly cool or hashtag I am a coolie that's the hashtag we're going to use if you are with me and you support that uh, story there uh, I'm not reading your comments on that uh, Colin is saying that's a hate hate that word well I am going to embrace that word I am going to turn it upside down coolie means a laborer who's somebody who earns an honest living in fact our ANC officials are not coolies they can't qualify as coolies because they don't earn a living the word is hashtag i am a coolie if you're going to follow me for the next couple of weeks and months that's where we are going we are going to push an indian agenda an indian narrative and speak about indian people 
uh, cool equals slave, but we can't hide these words. I am, I am not a proud coolie, but a proud product of slaves. Right? I am coolie is what I am pushing for. The power of being a coolie says Ricky Nevin, you can have your this thing. Calvin says he would not, but I am pushing that. But that is my, that is my, uh, my, my saying and my thing on it. Uh, one said coolies means hard worker. Coolie is hard worker. Other parts of the world, not in South Africa. I am a coolie. If you believe in that story, and we're gonna push that agenda. That's where we're starting from. I'm going to start a Facebook group as well called I Am Cooley. And we're going to, we are going to, uh, we are going to speak about Indianness, our contribution. We are only 160 years in this country. Speak about Indianness and where we are. We, I Am Cooley means I am, Logan, that's fine if you're not with me. I'm okay with that. You don't have to be with me on this one. I am, you don't have to be with me. You can like me, other things, whatever. Is those who want to share their opinion. That's why I'm saying on a former Facebook group of I am Cooley, it must be those people. Respect your view. I won't support the hashtag. That's fine if you don't support. I don't mind it. Uh, I am saying those who want to do it, uh, uh, those who want to support it, those who want to be with it. Uh, it's the hashtag. Uh, no man, let's stick to Charles. You can be uh, that. Cooley is the word that is so, supposed to oppress us. But Cooley is the word that is not going to oppress us. Cooley is the word where we must teach our children who are coolies, what are coolies, and why we come from there. It doesn't mean to say I'm a coolie now, meaning I'm derogatory. It, it needs to, we need to know our heritage. We need to know our structure. We need to know where we come from. And now I'm going into pastor mode. We need to know our, where we come from, where we're going, because we can't know where we're going if we don't know where we come from. We come from the deeper roots. Uh, we come from the three ships of India. We landed here without the, with only the clothes on our backs, uh, with nothing. Uh, and yet we strived in only 160 years. Uh, we have come up to own companies, to own businesses, to own land, to own the complexes in only a 160 years we have come to be such a force in South Africa we only 1.5 percent of the population in 59 million people we are less than 1.5 million people but that's where we are that's what it is all about we are here to say proudly coolie I am a coolie I'm a product of coolism says uh Calvin and even today as we celebrate and even this year as we go to 160 years celebrating coolies the I am coolie doesn't mean I am a coolie I am an idiot the I am coolie serves to respect pay homage to the coolies who we are a product of that's what it's about that's what it's about. It's about celebrating our heritage, our proud heritage, celebrating where we come from. And even now as I speak, the bank details will appear at the bottom of the screen. Please take note of the bank details and do an EFT into my account immediately so that we get this movement going because without funds, we cannot fund this project. Without the proper funds, we cannot move this thing forward. <laughs> right there we go can i get a little yeah right um so every day i will be talking about sort of the bottom now we started from the bottom now we are here hallelujah that's what it is about and uh we're just gonna put the bank details up now i'm having a tiny having a problem with the technical problem with the bank details right that was about just showing you that um where we are. I didn't need the, never the latest comment there. Maybe you can post it again. When I formed a group, or we're going to form a Facebook group, by the way, and uh, it's going to be called I Am Cooley. That's why I buy Asian premium cars. Hard workers make it. Too much only white on sundown. Eh? And yeah, so not everyone will be joined. I know that. Not everyone will want to be on it. Who we are, where we come from. So we tell them, we from Madras. It's easy to agree with that hashtag if you have never experienced the whites throwing it in your face in the 80s. Colin Appena. 
Colin Apple, so let's talk about it, right? Let's talk some things that Colin Apple says, it's a, easy to agree with an hashtag if you never had to throw in your face in the 80s. This is not the 80s, dude. I'm also a product of the 80s. This is not the 80s. This is going forward. If you don't agree with it, I don't have a problem. I'm not going to change your mind. I want people who have the same mindset as me. I want people who believe in that. That's what, you don't have to believe in it. You can still be on my platform and still talk other things. You don't have to believe in it. I'm just saying that's what I want to do. I want to take it. I want to turn it on the head. I want to be able someone to call me a coolie. I want to desensitize the word. I want to turn the word on its head such that it's not used anymore. Such that the person who uses it is suddenly the fucking idiot in the program. The person who uses it is the bully. The person who uses it got no fucking intellect. We will turn that word on its head. Colin Appena, let's be honest. Have you heard that word coolie recently? Have people called you coolie? Haven't we evolved from the 80s to now? Isn't there an evolution? I haven't been called it, to be honest. I don't know where you've been. Uh, I have, I've experienced racism, though. Uh, I have experienced racism, though. Uh, Calvin says, you're the real mother. Uh, Chetty is watching. Uh, Nevin says, hashtag product of slaves. Uh, Nevin is having a discussion with me. He says, hashtag product of slaves. Are we product of slaves? Of course, I'm a product of a slave. Are you not a product of a slave? Uh, Chinese were also called coolest. People in uh, other countries were called coolies as well. The coolie auntie is coming for you. But let's leave it there. I'll form the group. You don't have to be on the group. You don't have to be part of it. Uh, Logan says, I think it's a suicide mission. That's your opinion, dude. That's what makes the world so fantastic. Put the air fryer and boil the oil, fry the vedas. We are coolies. That's right. Now you see Logan Pele and you see Colin Apana. The beauty part of the world, the beauty part of democracy is that we have people who share different views. You and I don't have to share the same view uh, on everything. We have a common mindset, common goal. And there is a goal towards the I am Cooley story. Uh, and uh, those bullies motiv motivated me, Mr. Apana. Racism motivated me. Fuck, I love this topic. Thank you, Calvin. We will get people like that who won't like it. You will still be stuck in it. You will be still stuck in the 80s. You will still want to be upset about cool. That's not a problem. Um, the word coolie cannot define us and make us feel oppressed. Let us not give people that power. Be a proud coolie. Remember our heritage. That's where we are. Uh, coolie is going to be my number plate on my Lamborghini. We'll show where I come from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calvin, Calvin will, 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 will attest to that. Will attest to that. Boyfriend. Uh, well, in the trains, we were not allowed to travel first class. Wait, now hold on. Colin, you from the 80s. Which train you wasn't fucking traveling in first class? Where, which train in the 80s? Where you was traveling? And where you wanted to go? By the way, the train. Come on, Colin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Calvin says, fuck, I need to write a book. I, I personally, living in the 80s, didn't really experience... I, I experienced racism, yeah. In, in this town, yeah. In this town, yeah. Uh, where I'm staying now. I experienced racism, yeah. Uh... Nevin says, respect your view I, and idea, just don't agree with it. That's good. That's okay. You don't have to agree with it. Thank you, Nevin. We always uh, have an opinion, which is great. And it's your opinion. And it's your way. And you will continue like that. Um, I support Casey in this one, says Yashvir. Yep. So we're going to start it. And the movement is firstly going to be about Nevin Naraidu, About talking about our heritage. Talking about our culture. Talking about our ancestors. Uh, talking about people. By the way, people talk about people like, uh, I won't mention the other one, I'll, I'm going to do a video on that, like uh, Motala Farm. Like people in 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 uh, in in, uh, in Durban or KZN and say, hey, you stayed at Motala Farm, Motala Farm. They mock Motala Farm. Motala Farm is a bad place, is a backward place like Malagazi. Uh, as Calvin says, the Malagazi boy came from 10 houses. Motala Farm. Motala is actually the surname of Chota Motala. Right now in Peter Marisburg, the main road in Peter Marisburg is called Chota Motala Drive. Now, we can't even, we don't know who Chota Motala is, do we? But we, we mock Motala Farm. People come from Motala Farm, Motala Farm, Motala Farm, without knowing what Motala is. Huh? Why is there a name, a road named after Chota Motala? Like I think racism is more now than in the 80s. I don't know if you, that's, that's, that's your opinion dude uh, okay so you're looking so you're ducking SARS now the truth coming out uh, who's ducking SARS? Uh, Tin Town as well um, Kubasni says born there it's Motala Heights now 
<laughs> Motala, it's yeah. Well, Motala, not, and you're spelling it wrong, Motala, it's Motala, M O T A L A, M O T A L A, Motala. Uh, Dr. Motala, by the way, if I'm correct, Dr. Chota Motala. And the point is, Nevin Naraidu and others, we have to be able to, our own people, and even people here, and even me, so let me not act like I know it all about understanding where we come from. We have a guy, Calvin Wesley Pillay here, uh, now a successful businessman, coming from Malagazi, Tin Town. Coming from Malagazi. And he was a coolie. Fathers were coolies, uh, great-grandfather coolies, uh, all of that. Uh, myself, I'm a spingo, Colin Appen, I said, where, where you was fucking taking the, tax, the, uh, the train and you want to go sit in the first class? The apartheid stigma should have fallen away by now. The word kuli to me means fuck all because we conquered and showed the rest. That's right, Dipik Ratam. I'm glad to have you on the boat. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, where are all the white folk? They stop commenting on this. No matter whether you call a donkey or zebra, it won't become that. Yep, Sunvi, Dasra, nothing wrong with that. But also, there has to be a movement to conscientize our Indian population. Uh, why did they give uh, Point Road an Indian man name? Uh, well, I'm not going to go into that one. I don't think it's uh, it to do with Point Road. Point Road stigma has nothing to do with Point Road. Point Road is in, a, is, in, is in a good area as far as I'm concerned. We must be proud of our roots, uh, Stephen. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We want to instill proudness. And all of you here need to start instilling proudness in your kids. Where we come from, what we do, uh, who we are. You know the song we sang in school? Uh, who we are, where we come from. So we tell them uh, life would be so much simpler if people respected one another. Well, yep, that's it. Google says, my grandfather lunched from Motala Farm. The most privileged during the apartheid were intimidated by the coolies. Well, Yashvir Singh, that's all I'm going to say. We are only... To have the EFF talk about us, to have the ANC talk about us, to everyone talk about us, we are only 1.5% of the fucking population. Eh? 59 million people, yeah. Eh? Uh, and, and, and we make such a big impact. Just that, just those people. Uh, Tintano stops as Julie. That must be Jameson, you're drinking the KC. No, it's apple juice. Carol says, I sent my daughter to the little shop here yeah, on the weekend and said, go to the coolie shop. I didn't even think about knowing what it means. Karen, that's okay because I even had a white guy on my platform where he lived opposite us in Chatsworth on the white side and he said the same thing. He said they grew up knowing, saying, go to the coolie shop, go to the coolie shop. But he didn't know what the word meant. To him, when you're growing up, if your parents use the word, use I don't have a problem with that. But now you know the word. Now you know the word. Now you know the meaning of the word. We're always reading, reading black history. We need to remember our own rich history. Thank you, Kritika. We're going to write our own history. We're going to write about the about the Papua Stugalams. We're going to write about the uh, Padavatan brothers who saved uh, so many lives during the flood. I'm getting a flood. We're going to write about them. Um, my kids will always be taught to be proud of their heritage. I grew up in Claremont, SA, and this word was used for our local. Yep, shop. No, no, Karen. We uh, don't have a problem. Thank you for sharing that with us, by the way. It's how we learn about each other and where we come from. But look, I've obviously educated you. Now, we have taught you. We have told you. You have learned. Uh, Alan Diplal says, brew. What kind, brew? Alpha logistics in the house. Uh, Logan says, behind the keyboard, easy to agree to an hashtag. However, should this gain momentum and the word is thrown around? Logan, see, let's, let's, let's understand Logan's play. Logan, let's see, let's, let's, let me read you Logan's comments, right? Logan said, behind the keyboard, it's easy to agree to an hashtag. However, should this gain momentum? and the word is thrown around out of context, Indians will not have any grounds to defend themselves. Let me first tell you this, Logan Pillay. I've got fuck all to defend. I don't need to defend myself. You defend yourself when you're wrong. You defend yourself when you're backwards. You defend yourself. I don't need to defend myself. Why are you defending yourself? For what? Who are you trying to defend yourself to? Who are you trying to prove yourself to? That is, I think, inherent. There's a, there's a mindset why you say that. You have to come out of this mindset. You're not inferior. Were you made to feel that way? Let me tell you something. You're not inferior. Look at the history of Indians, what we've done, what we're what we still achieving 160 years in this country. I've got nothing to defend. That's why I am proud to be a coolie. That's why I use the word, send it out. 
uh, being a proud Indian and a product of slaves is commendable. I am proud Charles wasn't for Charles would still be in the store age of Indian program put us on the map. We Indians are minority and forced to reckon with Greg listing all the way from Kata, are you Greg? Ya Nia, Ya Khan, now the coolies are winkle. Uh, Logan, we want to gain momentum. That's the whole point of hashtag. Yep. Hashtag is to gain momentum. Hashtag is to get the word out there. Let's get the word. Why are you frightened to get the word out there? You frighten people who learn the word of meaning of the word coolie. You frighten new people who learn the word of coolie. Oh, fuck it. Breakout. It's time for a new dawn. You know, Ramaphosa sport. It's time for a new dawn. Logan, stop being stuck in your fucking, uh, and I don't mean swearing you. Uh, Indian community has a history that needs to be protected. That's right. We have a history. We have a rich history. It's time we start talking about our history. And the reason I went to the I am Cooley is because of that. It's because it is so sensitive. We have made Raja a household name. Every black home, even Poto is masala flavored now. Casey, I am 40 years old and I don't know the meaning of Cooley and I missed your explanation. I'd love to learn if you don't mind to repeat yourself. To educate you, Andre Leon Fenter, Cooley. Uh, was used to describe a laborer, a uh, menial task, mainly guys who worked in, in the railway stations who carried your bags, porters, very low menial labor, laborer. That's what coolie in essence is. There are variations in it, but that is the underlying thing. Low pay, uh, worker, that sort of thing. A worker, honest worker. What else fucking scared of? Yeah, embrace it. Correct. What else scared of? The coolies understand the black brothers and work together to help disempower the oppressive regime. How's it all? Charles Nell is late. Uh, we have nothing to defend or be ashamed of being a coolie. We should be proud of my brothers that we have. Thank you, Ricky Naido. I was wondering where you sit on this fence here. I wasn't going to suck up to you because you're sponsoring my show. I'm saying what I want to say. I'm so glad that you are with me. I'm so glad Calvin Pillay agrees with me. You guys are big businessmen. You guys have made it. By the way, Ricky Pillay, I won't mention where he's from, whatever. We'll do that later stage. Are people successful businessmen who have made it coming from the coolies? Um, also, our grand balls came on that boat. Uh, Logan Pillay, when I hear the word coolie, I cannot even fathom what my forefathers endured, but I have the power to show the coolie haters how far we've come. That's right. Thank you. Andres Leon says thank you. Well, that's what it is. So, Leon, in our own mindsets, we are trying, uh, we are trying to, uh, Turn the word on its head, as Kritika is rightfully saying and, and giving a comment there. Uh, but I have the power to show the coolie haters how far we have come. Uh, knowledge is power. Uh, more stories and books written to make people aware of this. Guys, if you talk about the USA, the word nigger. Nigger, nigger. Let's use the word nigger. Nigger was a derogatory term. Nigger. Call them niggers. And today, niggers call themselves niggers. Indian children call themselves niggers. They want to be niggers. You know why? Nigger is a nigger. You're a nigger. You're the dawn. You're the thing. You're the, you're the it. You're the nigger. Hey, you niggers, pull in. Nigger. Nigger was a derogatory term. But now nigger is a term being embraced. We are what we are, proud Indians. That's what we are. So, obviously, I will lose people. People won't want to be on our platform. People won't want to support that. Uh, I can, what Leon says, I can say if one is not proud of where you are from, no matter where it is, you can't live an honest life. That's it, Leon. That's what you're trying to say. But you'll also hear my fellow Indians, and I don't have a problem with them not supporting it because the word has also affected them badly. And some of them rightly so, like Logan says, maybe you'll never appreciate it if it was never used on you. That's, that's okay. Uh, that's okay because he's felt it. I even told my own people in Chatswood, you don't know what racism is till you've experienced racism. I understand that. IKC watching from Josie. But it's time we, and in the political climate of this country, we have to start standing up for us. Uh, you know, a lot of our own uh, Indian uh, leaders saying, no, 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 we must embrace new South Africa. Yes, we'll embrace the new South Africa, but we cannot do, do the same mistake of becoming so cosmopolitan with the, with the country, yet we get fucked every which way. The Indians are a fucking ham in the sandwich. We get fucked everywhere, every time. Even with a new government, we're going to be fucking forgotten. We need to show them the power of the coolie, the power of us, where we come from. If anything, we should dedicate this to our ancestors. The real coolie is the one that's right. Uh, the ones that made us mother coolie, if you get my drift. Yep. Grant Masters, your boss cousin with Queens. <laughs> Love you, but Thank you, Grant. 
uh, Ace is gonna sort SA out, brah. Yeah, Ace, we'll talk about Ace another day. Kuli is the most intelligent nation in the world, says Marlon Governor. Let's not the legacy of our forefathers die or be forgotten. That's right. Hey, I didn't expect to take so long with this, but uh, I'm glad we're talking about it. Uh, and yeah, so many people have been asking. So it's a means to an end. It's, it's, it's to me, it's about starting a movement of Indian people, of conscientizing Indian people. When it comes to the next municipal elections, we are going to be moving people to go to the voting stations to vote. We are going to get our own groups together and be able to motivate people to go and vote. Why? That's the only way you change the regime. That's the only way. Indians too often being accused of ap being apathetic. Well, we're going to start to stand up now and fucking move. Akuliza uh, Sharp, uh, Calvin Wesley Pillay. It's time to stand up. And if you are part of the movement and if you are part of the I am Kuli and part of the uh, movement that's going to come after that, Racism is from PM. Racism. Anyone from PMB remembers Alexander Park, the signs that Park benches had. Sam Lickham's actually Cooley should be a motivating factor. That's right, Sam. Cooley should be a motivating factor to do even better in all aspects of life. Correct. The word Cooley in Hindi language to refer to portals even now in India. Uh, not. Not him. Veg burger fasting today. Uh, proudly Indian. Uh, Johan Rousseau says, I know many successful Indian business leaders that have come from nowhere and they are brilliant people, including the families. The Indians need to become united in their diversity. Uh, spend time with some of my urban based Indians in Cape Town. Thank you for your comment there, Johan Rousseau. Thank you for being on the platform. Uh, some people accept being called uh, swear words, example, the P word. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, who's saying hi there? Melissa, Deep Naran, Kimberly Sputnik. Kimberly, do you own that fucking vaccine? Sputnik. Being white and also product from the 80s, my mom, dad, and brother spoke English. In apartheid years, English whites got told the Roy Necker, Sot Pila, uh, Engelsmann, and more names. Uh, like it is just a fucking name. It only means something to the person saying it. That's right. It only means something to the person saying it. That's right. Jason Miller says, I lived in Mauritius recently. Don't fuck with Indians, the kindest people, but there's a line called honor from a white boy. Thank you, Jason Miller. Now, I'm thank you, Jason Miller, for saying that because I need my own Indian brothers and sisters here to see how other populations see us and how white people like Jason Miller, while there were people who hate on English, Indian people, guys like Logan and uh, Colin will say they were called coolies by white people. Here's white people telling you how they perceive Indian people as industrious, as hardworking, as kind, as businessmen, as success. There's white people telling that. What more, what more you want, meaning when you, other people are seeing us from that uh, perspective. Kuga actually says, I worked at a company, Benoni, one colleague openly asked me when I was bringing Drew uh, Kuli Cookie, that's what they call Samosa, I was shocked. But Kuga actually understands something as somebody, a white person said here, yeah, some of them don't really know the, the fucking meaning of what they're saying, that they grew up saying that. On my Lexus Cooley ZN plates <laughs> soon, right? Put it, put it, brother, put it, put it on your hashtags, on your social media platforms, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. You're making it worse, some said calling, what? Someone said calling Cooley Potters. What that means? Vishal, thank you, sir, let the truth be told. Terence Raj is the coolest of the first people that introduce credit. A lot of white people respect us. A lot of white people respect us. A lot of people, uh, by the way, people wouldn't be picking on us, even Julius Malema or anyone, wouldn't be picking on us if we were nobodies. The saying goes always, the tallest trees gather the most wind. We are there. We are out there. Whether it's our trucks, whether it's our businesses, whether it's IT, whether it's whatever, whether it's our family structure, whether it's our families together. You know the thing about meeting up, eating, going to your mother's house, well, it's a very, it, 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 I think even white people will look at it and say, look at, look at those families, how they behave. Look at how we look after our children. I mean, our children can be 28, 30 years old, still staying by the mother's house and that sort of thing. Karen saying, I am one of those white people. Yeah, one of those white people who she's saying who refers to as, as respecting the Indian people and talking about where we are. Karen and others, it's just about me conscientizing our people um, and, and getting to respect where we where we come from and where we are going in this country. And uh, we're going to take that word, squash it and bring and rework it 
uh, to suit us. When your children ask who's a coolie, say, you're a coolie, son. You're a hard worker. Uh, I'm astounded that Indians in SA are thinking this way. Karen, sadly, it is so that we are thinking that way in SA because um, various reasons and, 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 and personal reasons and things they have gone through. Um, we can't change everyone overnight and neither do I want to change everyone overnight. I want people who have that way of thinking, who want to move forward and uh, go from there. We've got about 10 minutes left in the program. Um, by the way, tickets for my show, Don Dala with the Masala, we got one, two, three, four, four sleeps to go before my show. Uh, cool is a backbone of many economic systems. I'm stunned. Uh, Karen says, yes, learn from Indians in London. And uh, Karen has been quite open here, saying she learned from Indians in London. In fact, we said a child can buy and sell anyone will buy and sell you for a profit. Correct, that's true. That's true. Uh, it's something that's frowned upon, but it's a tactic that Indians do have. They're able to do lots of things. Uh, many of my clients shoot their friends are Indian, says Karen. Latkin, who's joining us from London, by the way. She's formerly from SA, now living in Northwest London, giving us her perspective on Indians and all things Indian. Right, so many of you guys also, you know I'm talking to you guys who are busy watching, watching, but saying fuck all. There's only about 20 or 30 people commenting. There's 173 people online at the moment watching. And many people watch tomorrow as well and the next day. But you are saying fuck all. You are saying, I'm talking to the guys who are watching. Yes, you. You were sitting there with your phone and your laptop watching me. But you're saying nothing. That in itself is not a right, not a good thing. Because you are allowing, that's why we as an Indian population get told that we are apathetic. Uh, Calvin says, yeah, some people with a boor is a farmer, but most have embraced it. Uh, boor was role now. Yep, boor. Um, so I'm talking to all you guys. 20 people, 30 people are commenting here. You others are just sitting back and watching. Some of you are leaving now. But you're not saying, yes, I'm a coolie. No, I don't agree with it. And that's where the problem lies, my friend, talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Who's not commenting? If you want to be a change, if you want to see a change in the country, if you want to see a change, if not for you, for your children. Because I keep saying this to most people on this platform at the moment. You maybe got 20, 25 years left here. Think about it. You've only got about 25 years left here. And if you do anything, it's for your children, not for you. Your life is over here. My life is over. I can say this, but my life is over here. My days are numbered. I live in a dominant Afrikaner border area and our very respected CPF is an Indian and a very good friend of mine. And we go out to the family. You can see people wondering, uh, but to me, the chommy, uh, a chommy. Uh, if you are saying, fuck all. Uh, Right, some guys are commenting now. So if you're online and you say something, listening to you and other comments, I am a coolie. Yeah, if you're listening, remember also we, Trevor and Marcus, who are commenting now. Others here also get the hal from you. They get inspired by you. They feel everybody is with them. Remember the same thing, Trevor Sigamani, when you see the guys marching on the road and you're watching from inside your house. No, you support them, but you don't want to go on the road. We want you on the road. We want you on this road. We want you commenting. We want you to say, I'm with you. I'm against you. This is what it is. This is what I feel. You, you don't have to agree with me. Put your point across. That's all. Say you don't like it. Say you're not interested in it. Say how you felt. That's okay. When the British left India, the Charo said, you're not leaving us here. We're talking. Hence, the, I said a lot of things. Ashwin, I'm not talking about you, Ashwin. The success of the older Indian has always been saving whatever to educate the children and to our joint families. It says, Ricky Naidu. Uh, bargaining is in our blood, common with all Indians worldwide. Those people got no balls to voice their opinion. Uh, all we need each other, says Chris Roos. All in all, all in all, we need each other. Of course, Chris Roos. Look, if you haven't realized it, we are, you, you're living in a very, very, the next four to five years of our lives are so important to all of us and most importantly, our children. Can we unseat the current government? Because no matter what you say, and this is what I'm going to say to all my black friends out there. Forget about the fucking land issue. Forget about everything else. Well, the first thing we need to do, stop fighting with each other, but one of the first thing we need to do is unseat the government. That's the first thing we need to do. The first thing we need to do is to vote the current government out. Um, 
Indians, Japanese are not recognized like West, but many technologies are from the East. Vaini Subramani, thank you. Uh, I'm proud to be a cool. He says, Cooks Pele is now commenting. Right, some guys are commenting. Brilliant, brother. I live in Boxburg for 18 years and I love it. All my neighbors are Afrikaans people. Says Calvin, if black parents could learn from Indian parents to be held their kids accountable. Well, that's the core essence of Indian families. Now, look how Cornelius Nell is saying what he sees about Indian people that we have a core value about uh, our family structure, about building a family structure. That's what is the core of who we are. Uh, I don't have a problem being called a coolie. Uh, all these names are all taught. One is not born exactly. 100% with you, uh, says Sanvir. Karen says yes. No chance of unseating this corrupt government. Colin Appena, you, you come across as a very, very negative person, dude. I don't know whether I... I he, 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 I, Colin, have you given up on life? Have you, what are you going to do, die? If you go to the crematorium, the, the fucking burns are not working there, they can't cremate you. They'll have to bury you or you must go to Kata Manor. Uh, not Kata Manor, the one in Reservoir Hills. They, I'm, not, I'm not reading your comment, I'm stuck on Colin Appena. Let's talk about Colin, let's talk about Colin Appena for a few minutes. Guys, let's devote our time to Colin Appena because Colin Appena represents a lot of people who we are trying to work with. Colin Appena says, no chance of unseating this corrupt government. That's it. It's fucking over. Colin has said it. It's not going to happen. He's not going to do it. Pointless voting. He won't go and vote. He won't speak up. He's going to do fuck all because fuck all can happen. Right, let's talk about Colin Appena. Got five minutes to talk about Colin ANC not going anywhere, he says again. Uh, probably been called a coolie. People teach the next generation. Uh, uh, Colin is being practical. Is Colin being practical? We can't unseat the government. Can't do it. Like all the guys fighting in the wars all over the world are just fucking chuts. They're, not, they're fighting for the freedom. They're dying on the front line. We should have group exploding clubs in every day. Well, he says, give his pie so he can buy. Uh, leave Colin, he will achieve nothing with his negativity. Open your mind, Colin, let's make Yeah, Colin is a, just wants to be... Uh, you cannot beat the coolie culture. Always proud to be Indian. Uh, I Indians have a unique family. Stand up, stand up together and be proud. Yeah, I'm so... I'm, when I say I'm disappointed in Colin, but Colin represents hundreds of thousands of others who, who don't give a fuck, who uh, everything is lost and you can't get anything. So maybe Colin, if you are only for the jokes and whatever, then jokes come certain times, other times we talk. Right now, there's a bit of mobilization going. There's a bit of a revolution happening in this country. Uh, no Colin, not practical, rather than accept what you believe, thinks about how we can bring about change a person at a time. One person at a time, Colin. We talk, spoke about the power of one. Where were you when you were speaking about the power of one? Uh, you believe you can do fuck all, really? Then maybe we need to have a chat. Let me have a chat with you. Come visit me. I'll chat to you. Speak to other people, other businessmen in your area. Colin, if it's not for you, and I'm going to say Colin, I'm talking to all the Colins who are even listening. If it's not for you, it's your children. If it's not for you, it's for the people coming after you. If it's not for you, it's your grandchildren. Don't be selfish. They ain't sitting a brilliant job unseating themselves. That's correct, Ricky. Uh, they, they're getting half the job done fast. They're making it easier. And yet Colin is saying it'll never happen. If everyone wants a change, change can happen. Of course. By not voting, you're just turning your back. South Africa can still be saved. Of course it can be still saved. Yako says that uh, even if we can't, we have to try. Indeed, Ashwin, well done. That's it. Even if we can't, we have to try. We have to try. Colin needs to visit Stanger. Well, Colin needs to visit a lot of places. I don't know where he stays, who he is with. He needs to change his friends. He needs to find better people. He needs to go on to try different things. He's, he seems to be stuck in a, in a rut. But Colin, when we're talking about you, we're talking about people with you as well, not just talking about you. Uh, Melissa says, besides the sugarcane field, my husband and grandfather worked in the coal mine in northern KZN. Yeah, yeah I can, we can, there are a lot of stories, Melissa, that we need to talk about. A lot of stories. I know stories for myself. Uh, ANC is busy unseating themselves. We must just help them over the edge. Yes, Chris. Yes. It, it is one of the most... Um, important times in the life of South Africa where the ANC is at its weakest, at its weakest. And it's time we start mobilizing to take full advantage of that. 
We thought never had a black president might happen. So anything, anything can happen. Look, those people who went away, the Steve Bicos and the, the founders of the ANC who went away, went into exile, uh, all of that. For what? Eh? Uh, Colin is agreeing with Stephen Nitya, governor, and what he's agreeing with there. Uh, great eye-opening discussion, KC. Uh, Kate says, being called a coolie means fuck all to me because I know who I am. Uh, I hate those idiots. Thank you, Cooley. But I agree with Colin because remember, I took. Shivay Chetty says, I agree with Colin because he took like forever to get rid of Zuma. Shivay, how old are you? You saying you agree with Colin who say it will never be done, but then you say he took forever to get rid of Zuma. But we got rid of Zuma, isn't it? Zuma was gotten rid of, isn't it? What, what's the mentality there, Shivay? You agree with Colin who says we'll never unseat the ANC. But then you say, we unseated Zuma, or Zuma was removed from power. We have a better president in Cyril Ramaphosa. What? Well, well, well I, I don't understand. You, you type the words out. You, you're not reading what you're typing. English. Unity can bring the government on its knees. We are letting ourselves down. Stop. Complain. Action needed. Correct. ANC is self-destructing. Uh, never say never. The ANC thought the same one at one state, but yeah, they are. Of course, the ANC thought they'll have eighty percent majority, and elections will be in their hands. Now they're shitting in their pants, uh, in the expensive pants as well. Spend call overseas, then you can see the rest of the world is. <laughs> and that's Karen Latkin, Latkin, Latkin from the from uh, northwest of London telling you, Colin. She's saying send him overseas. You can see how the rest of the world is. Uh, try and fail. Yep. Nare says the idea is to, is to expose the ANC to its current voters and followers as well as them don't have exposure to ANC shenanigans. That Nare setup is what I've been saying for the last few years. Is that people pick on the people in the townships, in the settlements, in the locations and say they still vote for the ANC. Well, they still vote for the ANC because they know no better. That shack and that one tap they got there and a little bit of running water is something great that the government is providing for them. They are always so happy to have a tap uh, but you think they should be having running water and having hot water and all of that. They just so ever grateful to have a tap. So the CS ANC is providing for them. Uh, ANC busy killing themselves. Dream it, believe it, we will achieve it. Ah, good slogan there, Mr. Calvin Pillay. Dream it, believe it, we will achieve it. He will run back to SA so fast as Karen. That's right. He must. I don't. I don't know where Colin has been, by the way. I can't say he hasn't been anywhere. How can you lock 58 million people down in three days? But we can't get one puss of a healing turban. Badrash tell Kondov. No, I don't want him to fuck off. ANC is only majority vote because of the fucking corruption that is going on. Mind my language. But I didn't sugarcoat it. Right. It's nine o'clock. We all can get out of this government. Um, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me be naughty, right? Let me be naughty. I'm going to be naughty. Don't hold it against me. I'm just going to be naughty. Uh, it's our duty to get it. Uh, John Dalla with the Masala in the government. Just like that. If you work in a team, you've got to try Monday.com. Right, we're almost at the end of the program. We need to educate. That's right. Educate, educate, educate. Right, and even as we uh, come to the end of tonight's program, we have had a lit discussion. We have discussed the word coolie, its implications. What it means to you, what it means to me. How good the word is. How bad the word is. What it means to you. And what it means to me. Different things to different folks. But today I come to you and tell you. It's time to unite. It's time to stand up. It's time to embrace. 
It's time to look at our history. It's time to say, I am Kuli. I am the power. Kuli rising. And even as I say goodnight to you, we'll put the bank details up there at the bottom so you can donate. If you agree with it, it's the hashtag I am Kuli. Start the Facebook up in the week and we'll get there. I was going to say that you need to believe that we shall overcome this. Believe that there is a place for us. Believe. And we just want to say, everybody just bear thought for Colin, Colin Apana. Keep him in your thoughts, keep him in your prayers. Because Colin is, seems like to be a tormented soul. He's been, had a hard time. And um, if you're signing out, you will sign out with hashtag I am Cooley. And with that, we'd like to say goodnight to each and every one of you. We already got our first donation here from uh, Brother Calvin Pillay, who was willing to donate to the cause. Thank you, Ricky Naidu. Colin Appena says, God has worked up. And just tonight, say a prayer for Colin. Say a prayer for Colin. And all the Collins out there who need our support, going through a hard time. And um, right, thank you for joining me. I was being naughty there uh, during the end. Believe and achieve. Right, I am Cooley is rising, and uh, and that's my project for the next couple of weeks to get the Facebook group going. Let's all support this man. Get our man Casey, but <laughs> no, I'm not asking for donations. <laughs> no, I'm not asking for donations. I'm asking for a donation of your mind, your time, your power, uh, your time most especially to be able to to move, mobilize. For too long we've been apathetic. Right. If you want to support me, don't donate money to me, buy a ticket for my show. That's how I make a living. Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Now the music, I was just uh, messing around with the music there. Uh, trying to be uh, naughty was the word. That's the word, naughty. That's the end. Jeez, all ups, says uh, Woldy. Uh, we end tonight's show on there. Thank you for joining me. We've gone over uh, five minutes after the hour of nine o'clock. I am Cooley. I am Cooley. There we go. Hashtag, hashtag. Let's roll with it. Hashtag, let's roll with it. Brothers and sisters, take it away. Show tickets, donate there, and keep me alive. And uh, won't hurt to buy tickets, right? There was so much of other things to discuss, but the Kuli discussion was was lit, right? Remember to always keep it model. My name is KC. Out. Let me just see you saying bye, right? Who hasn't said bye? Let's let me let me stay on for a couple of minutes and see you saying bye. Samira says bye. Sanbir says bye. Badresh says goodbye. Good night. Cheers. Uh, so does Ash. Uh, Steven says I'm a proud Cooley. Not Collie. Collie is a fucking dog. Cooley. Uh, Terence says whoops. Um, Ricky Naidu says bye. Ven pack. Flexible packaging in the house. And uh, right. Those of you who are watching and haven't said anything. The least you can do is say bye. Uh, Ashwin is not at I am. It's hashtag. Uh, Mohammed Juma says bye. Karen Latkin from Northwest London says bye. So does Brian Gultik, Daniel Naidu. And uh, also, if you're saying bye, say if you enjoyed the show, good show, lit show, uh, all of that. Calvin Permal says bye. Jackie with a lovely avatar. This is bye. Terence Raju says bye. Uh, Ashwin says bye twice again. Uh, I Lance was missing today. <laughs> yeah. Sir Lance Lot missing on the live. Minus 50 points there from him again. Uh, Sanveer, Colin Apana. And uh, Rakesh Singh says bye. And Sanveer Dalson. Uh, Shashun says woof woof. <laughs> Collie. 
as in Kuli and Kali. Shamani Naidu, thank you, Shamani. Nice avatar, eh? Uh, Balu Naidu says, Bye. You didn't comment today, Balu. What's happening? Just enjoying the discussion. Daniel says, Love did great show, says Balu Naidu. Tata bye. See you tomorrow, Vishal. And uh, Virend Harimanta. I think it's Hari. Love the convo. Let's do this. Uh, I am cool. Of course, let's do it. Karan Lakshmi Das and says, Good night. Tony. Sipman says bye. Uh, no, Jameson tonight. Lancelot is here. I was very quiet today. Didn't want to lose any points. Right. So there we go. Most of you have said bye. Uh, we're down past the hundreds now. And uh, bye, Cooley. Bye, Cooley. And uh, good night. Great show, says Joyce Governor. Thank you for joining in, Joyce Governor. Share the video if you can. I think you can. So share the link. Uh, we'll share the link tomorrow. Yeah, he is Kasha. Yep, uh, absolutely. Let's show, says Samira. Thank you very much, Samira. But right, until then, you know, let's keep it mother. <laughs> and then, yes, yes, bye.